Hi, welcome to Outabout.uk YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to put up the uh, Coleman Weathermaster 4XL. Um, so uh, at the moment what I've done is uh, put the ground sheet out. It's a little bit windy here today, so I've just pegged the, the four corners of the footprint ground sheet out. Um, and uh, now, as you can see, the tent's still in a bundle on the ground sheet. I will um, go along and um, take the straps off, unroll it, and uh, take it from there. So first off, we'll just take the ties off from around the tent. Once you've unrolled the tent inside, you'll come across the pump. There's the pump. There's the bag full of pegs. I'm just gonna pop a couple of pegs in the back corners. We like to use some substantial pegs. Don't put all the, the pegs all the way in to begin with, in case you've got to come back and uh, adjust it. Definitely some hard ground here. So I always recommend a good sturdy rock peg. Quite happy to leave the pegs not quite in at the moment uh, because once the uh, tent is up, more than likely we'll need to just adjust it. So now we're just going to undo the side door to uh, allow us to gain access to the tent. So on the Coleman's, the uh, inflating points are on the bottom of the beams. Um, they've either accessed by either a side door um, or they've got some uh, little pockets uh, that just unzip and allow access to the beam. So we're now going to grab the pump. So these all come, come with the tent, so you've got the pump and a uh, little pressure gauge. So this one's going to go onto the pump first, making sure that it's on the inflate side of the pump. Um, so obviously the pump has an inflate and a deflate side. And we put the connection together there. All right, first off I'm going to start with the beams next to uh, the uh, side door. Uh, first off we've got to sort of press the button in the middle of the valve um, to put it in the position where when you put the pump on it, it opens it, but when you take the pump off, it closes itself. So uh, need to do that because when they come out of the packet, they're in the deflate position. It's a double action hand pump. So um, each time we uh, move the pump, air goes into it. At this point, I'm just gonna go pop myself inside the tent and stand those two beams up. And then we move on to the one in the front of the tent, which is accessed through the uh, little side pocket. Again, pressing the valve in, attaching the hose. And uh, we'll move on to the very front beam. All right, now that one's done. Tent is starting to take shape. Just need to do the one over the back of the bedrooms. As you can see from that, really easy to pop one of these tents up. It's actually quite windy here today, so the first thing I'm gonna do is loosely put these out at the moment, just to make sure the tent's got a bit of stability. Won't bang all the pegs all the way in at the moment because I will be adjusting those and I'm going to uh, start down this side and uh, just make sure that uh, the sides are all nice and square and uh, all the beams have got uh, pegging points done. Right, now I just need to go inside and uh, toggle up the uh, front of the ground sheet. So the footprint ground sheet has got a toggle position. It clips into the very front of the tent creating a well around the front. So the uh, strap across the front beam uh, just done Velcros and then the uh, footprint ground sheet loops up over the top so that you haven't got a trip hazard. So then 
we'll be going around putting the guy lines out let's just come out and adjust like so always recommend putting the guy line all the guy lines out on your tent no matter what the weather conditions are when you turn up on your campsite you can see from that the general gist of uh, all the guy lines but the last thing it also comes with a aluminium pole just uh, fixes out together and this goes over the side door creating a, a little side porch uh, just over the side door I'm just going to go and grab myself some rock pegs and um, put the rest of the guy lines out uh, peg the other side of the tent and uh, we'll fit, show you the finished job in a moment so uh, I've just been round um, and finalised things. So there's a couple of cuts in this video. Um, I had a couple of customers I needed to go and serve so, uh, whilst doing this. Um, so I apologise for the uh, couple of cuts in it. Um, but uh, we're all finished now, all pegged out and um, all the guy lines out, uh, everything finished off. Um, so I'm just going to take you for a quick walk around uh, this uh, Weathermaster 410. So what I like about the, weather, the range of Weathermaster tents uh, is actually the colour of them. Um, I do love the uh, green and grey trims, uh, all the fluorescent guy lines. Um, I think it makes it look uh, really smart. So um, there we have everything pegged on the, uh, on the side. Um, you saw me put out the big webbing straps on the front. Uh, it's also got a couple on the back. Um, do like the uh, Coleman uh, historical lantern printed on the fabric as well. That was the um, pole that I was talking about uh, that just goes in to create a wet weather protection over the side door. And uh, this is the little entrance uh, points to get to your air beams. Um, so you can see those uh, just on the side of the tent. Um, going into the main living space. Um, it's a really good sized living space for a four person tent. Um, high level ventilation and uh, low level ventilation. So uh, good air circulation around the tent. Pockets down the middle of the bedrooms. And of course because this is in the Weathermaster range. Also has the uh, Coleman blackout uh, bedrooms. So uh, we've got uh, two size, uh, good size bedrooms. Um, but it's also got a zipped divider. Uh, on the uh, inside of it so if you want it as one big bedroom you can undo the zip divider roll that back and gives you one big bedroom as you can tell looking into it now um, this is uh, got uh, extremely dark um, we've been a relatively sunny afternoon so uh, where that also helps is that it does also help keep the uh, the bedroom slightly cooler um, so uh, there is uh, a slight difference in the ambient temperature within the bedrooms because of the blackout um, compared to the uh, rest of the tent. Uh, ventilation uh, point just above the uh, side door. There's your uh, inflation points, inflation and deflation points. Uh, these are at the bottom of uh, each of the beams. A couple of little uh, hangy hooks on the uh, beams themselves so uh, you've got some uh, uh, lantern hanging positions uh, there's also some velcro straps uh, just uh, on this beam here so if you're running mains cables to mains lighting you've got uh, places to um, hide your uh, cables so there we go uh, all in all uh, we think that uh, this tent is uh, really nice if you'd like any uh, further information on uh, any of these uh, Weathermaster products or on this particular one which is the Weathermaster 4XL uh, then uh, please pop along to the website outabout.uk 